Hello everyone and yeah, welcome to my band habits today. Looking forward to a few great games. Uh, yeah, just saying that usually I accept 3-0 challenges and maybe in the end also some bullets so 1-0. Those are the two main time controls. And then yeah, let's see, let's start with the first game. Yeah, I mean, I will always wait a bit and then, yeah, I will have to search for another game. Yeah, okay, then I will search for another one. Okay, <laughs> still no moves. Okay, then again another one. Okay, no. Yeah, so I mean, I will play this kind of structure and see. But, okay, so he chooses to play with this c6, e6 position and f5. So some stonewall kind of position now. But yeah, I didn't play d4 yet and probably I also don't really want to play d4. I mean, yeah, well, get my bishop to g2. I think after e5, I can always take cd5 and after cd5, knight b5, maybe that's an idea. And otherwise, yeah, castle next move and I will see what he does. I mean, my idea is that so far I didn't weaken the e4 square yet, so. Okay, now he goes e5. Okay, cd5 I think I should play. Knight b5. Okay, I'm not sure I have to, but also actually feels right. Knight b5, bishop b8. And then, yeah, I think a knight a3, bishop a3 might be annoying. And taking the rook and then knight d6. I will get the pair of bishops and then yeah, the center might become weak. That's what I'm playing for here. Yeah, now I'll certainly try to get active on the dark squares. Maybe d4, e4, knight e5, or just rook c1. So b6. Yeah, probably trying to play bishop a6 to activate the bishop in that diagonal. But yeah, I think I can just go rook c1. Bishop a6, I will go rook e1. e4. Yeah, okay, now he has, he has the square on d3, but I'm not that sure. I mean, knight c6 is quite a strong threat here. I mean, knight e5 doesn't work, knight c5 loses a pawn, and yeah, knight c6 wins the queen, I think, already, because of the queen c8, there's knight e7 check, so it should be dead lost already. Yeah, went well. Yeah, I think it's just, you can see that once the dark squares get weak, you have to be really precise with black, and then, of course, such tactics are always very likely to happen somewhere. Yeah, I'll stick to the same opening. Okay, bishop g4. I mean, now I'm pretty sure that I should somehow try to play with fast queen b3, because if he gets e6, c6, then yeah, at least he got what he wants. I'm not sure it's that dramatic for me, but that's not something I really want to allow. Of the bishop, okay, knight c6. Um, okay, I feel like cd5 should be right. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably now we'll just take GF3 because of the queen d5. I think the end game <clears throat> looks pretty good. I can take on b7, but then rook b8. I'm not that sure about this position. But yet I actually also don't really want to take here. But yeah, probably I will have to. And then yeah, d4 next move and say that, OK, I have the pair of bishops, and I'm going to be a little bit better here. Bishop d2. And I just don't want to run into knight before. That's why I was trying to keep knight a3 ready. And yeah, now knight c3. Certainly, if he takes, it would be good news for me. So I will try to force him to take. But usually, that's something like bishop k okay, he takes. But yeah, now this is, I think bc3 is not the best idea because then after knight a5, he can somehow block my pawns. That's not what I want. And now, yeah, this knight will try to get to c4, but I always have b3 in case I need it. So I don't think that's too big of an issue. Yeah, f5 is certainly the right kind of idea, but I think now on the g file there might be some problems in the long term. And now I need to be accurate not to get any problems after moves like f4. So yeah, I'm going rook h3 with the idea that after f4 I can go bishop d2, f3, f3, and then yeah, the pawn on f3 will be defended. That's the idea. And I think generally, of course, opening the position is good for me. So yeah, rook a1, I think I can keep everything defended here. Yeah, h5. OK. That's interesting. I mean, of course, first of all, there are two pawns for the piece, but Otherwise, maybe it will be a third pawn, and then of course it's already. Yeah, you can say that maybe this was a possible idea. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I will lose this f3 pawn. OK, so he wants to exchange rooks as well. Yeah, I'll have to exchange. And then, <clears throat> OK, I am have, have the piece against three pawns here. Certainly complicated position, but I think I cannot really be worse here. But still, it will also be very difficult, and of course. I think that generally exchanging one bishop for the knight should be good as long as I can keep enough pawns, which might very well be the case here. Yeah, d4 and just bishop d2. I don't think it's good for him to take this. Okay, I think this should be lost. Just I can block everything here and then hopefully I will slowly be able to win those pawns. Actually, now if I go b4, it's really hard for him to find the first move. So I will go b4, try to break the pawn chain there. Yeah, now bc5 and king c4. Yeah, now I'm pretty sure that this is lost. Putting the bishop on g6. And yeah, I think king g5 is the only move right now. At least then there's the idea of playing uh, d3 after king takes c5. So I'll go a4 first since he has no next move. After d3, I can take with the king. And yeah, I'll try to get my pawn as far as possible before yeah, playing like this. And yeah, then I will just, I think now I can take. Oh, I need to speed up. Yeah, I mean, I will take on a7 and then should be winning. Yeah, I mean, I will, can just stop the pawn of the bishop 
sacrifice it for the pawn if needed, and then certainly my a pawn will be too fast. Yep. Yeah, okay, good game. I think there, yeah, well, in the end game, it should be lost without the piece. I mean, I can block every pawn, and then there are always some problems usually. Okay, so first black game for today. Okay, d4, knight f6, knight t3, okay, again, this kind of tricky line. I mean, there's always knight b5 threats, and it's yeah, a bit dangerous at least. Yeah, now I'll go back to d7 because I want to have bishop takes b5 after knight b5. I mean, I could get into some troubles with knight c7 otherwise. Okay, bishop d3 might run into queen b6. I'm not so sure whether this is that good. I mean, knight g2 will follow and then yeah, I don't think I should take on b2, but maybe just knight c6 is a good idea. Now, after knight a4, I can give check, and then after c3, I can even take on d4, I think, because then a4 is hanging as well. Castles, yeah, d4 is hanging. So he somehow needs to defend this pawn on d4. It's not that easy, I think. Knight b5. Okay, I think I just have rook c8, and then next move a6, and still I don't really see in which lines this knight b5 can be useful. Bishop b5, yeah, okay. That's at least a way to defend the pawn. But yeah, I think I will play a6, bishop c6, bishop c6, now b2 is still attacked. I'm not sure that he has to defend, but also now it's not that easy to get to claim some compensation after, for example, castles queen b2. So yeah, rook b1 makes sense, e6. But I'm pretty sure that I've solved all, all kind of opening problems here. I mean, pair of bishops, very safe structure for me. This knight on c3 is, yeah, a bit weirdly placed as usual if there's no immediate use with some knight b5 or something like this, or e4 in the center, but here looks like a fixed structure and yeah. In the long term, I might try to get some b5, b4. Yeah, okay, I think this just blunders a piece because there's still the pin. And then, yeah, it's lost. But also, if a bishop, if bishop f4, I mean, yeah, black, white is not that much worse, but I still think it should be more pleasant for black to play. Okay, good game. Uh, okay, another black. Let's see what happens here. Okay, again, d4. And an Imso Indian. e3. Okay, I will go for c5 now. I think this is also theory. Also played it already sometime. And yeah, there are all kinds of moves here. CD five, of course. DC five. Yeah. DC five. DC four. I mean, you can go to the end game here, but it's nothing. I think Queen A first. Not the best move. I mean, taking this pawn is not too good. Now I have castles and I'm threatening to play knight e5. Yeah, and I think this is already lost. 
because I will just go on d 3 check and take on F2. Yeah, quite a few problems here. That's basically the whole trick of this line. And King D2 is forced, and, and then I can just take on F2. Yeah, okay, probably it's not lost, but I think black should be already better. Okay, so it takes on a5, but now. Okay, I think I have to take on h1. Of course, now it's interesting. If he can keep my knight trapped on h1, then I might even get into some trouble. But for now, I don't see how he's trying, how, he, how, he, how if he will be managed to yeah, somewhat trap the knight there. Okay, interesting choice to not uh, include the queen exchange. Because I feel like with this king on e1, which is rather unsafe, you would prefer to have the queens exchanged normally. But yeah, of course, complicated position. Many ideas are possible. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go e5. Okay, I think now he has to exchange. Yeah, yeah queen d8, rook d8, and then. Yeah, I'm not sure what his move is going to be. I mean, g3, there's bishop b7, bishop c6. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, the black's position is totally fine here. Yeah. e4, trying to activate the bishop. And now probably g3 is a threat. So I need to be aware. And, but I think I have knight g4, trying to get the knight out after h3, maybe even knight h2. I can grab the bishop if I want to. Also knight gf2 is possible, and then threatening knight d3 check. Yeah, knight d5, OK. And yeah, now I will need to get my knights out before he's taking any of them. The problem is that if I go knight f2, there's h3, maybe. Oh no, but then there's knight d3 check. Okay, so I think I can go for this. I mean, now the next few moves will decide the game. That's for sure. I mean, if I get everything I want, then I will be winning. Otherwise, it will be quite a tough game. I mean, if he, if he manages to win a piece. But I think now f6. And now we'll take on e4. I mean, this looks like it went my way. So knight d7 check. King f8 is winning. Knight c7, rook b8 also looks winning. So yeah, I think that should be winning now. I got my knight out, and that's pretty much all I need. And now it's just huge material advantage. Knight c7, I can take and give bishop b3 check, and then rook c8. So there's no kind of fork. Yeah, okay, he resigned. <clears throat> yeah, that's very complicated position. And yeah, he didn't manage to trap the knight. And then, of course, the position is very good for me. Okay, so again, this kind of structure. Again, c6. Okay, so this is always. Yeah, black is trying to get some kind of Miran structure here. And then, of course, white is trying to play for some tricks, claiming that, yeah, I didn't play d4 yet, and it might be helpful at some point. OK, exchanging this bishops, I'm not that sure. But yeah, it's interesting. Rook a c1. I think I can let him play e5. Now, without the bishops, this doesn't look like the center will be too strong. Rather, might be a bit weak. Yeah, but now I'll go d4. e5 shouldn't be too good, this isolated pawn structure. b5. OK. Uh, after c5, he will most likely play e5, and that's. Interesting, then he can break in the center and get counterplay. 
CD5, CD5. Of course, I would love to somehow get a knight to C5. That's the main goal, but not so easy. I still think I should go CD5. I mean, this looks like it might be dangerous for him. And I will go bishop d3 because I think I need to square on e2 for my knight. That's my point. a4 probably wasn't too good of a move. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have played a4. But okay. Those are not that bad. But just from a strategical point of view, absolutely unnecessary. And also, now he always has the square on c5. If I take d5 and also c3, maybe. So I think yeah, black should be fine right now. But yeah, maybe I can try to press a little. I mean, knight c5, knight d4, then, oh, then there's knight e4, okay, knight f8, exactly, I'm not really afraid of. Now I can place a knight on d4, very nice square for the knight, and f4 will follow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure knight c5 was an interesting move because then there would have been knight e4 now. And now the question is whether I want to exchange change rooks or whether or not. I mean, I don't think I have a problem with exchanging rooks, but I don't need to force it. So, yeah. Okay, rook c2. I mean, I don't want to take on c8. I still want to be in control of the c5. Yeah, I don't think g4 is too much of a weakness, so I'll try to prevent any kind of exchanges. Yeah, now we'll have to prove that there's a way to win this position. Again, it's, I guess, pretty much clear that white is better, but very hard to win. He allows me to play f5. I think that's good for me. Because now I can also defend with king f4. That's why I waited with playing f5 and played king f3 first. f6. Wow. Okay, this. Somehow can't really be good, but not easy. Okay, e6 has to be the right move, and bishop b7. I somehow don't really expect single of those moves. Uh, but yeah, g6 will be following, and this is not too pleasant. And also, I'm playing way too slow again. But yeah, I think now the position already is pretty good. And I hope bishop e8 works. Now I'll try to take on a5. And if this works, then that should be really good. Yeah, it does work. Oh, I bought b3 pawn. That's not good. Mm. Oh, okay, but I can take b4, so it's fine. Okay, luckily you could have just taken on e6 and would have won the game. This way, okay, we'll lose on time, <laughs> likely. But the position is not lost. Yeah, okay, we'll lose on time. Yeah, okay, now the position is winning, but on time, yeah. Okay, good game.
yeah, there I was too much trying to somehow win the game and didn't focus on the clock, but read on the position. And then I also had to play bad because I was low on time. And then, yeah, it can happen. Okay, so you have a hero can. And C3, yeah, main line. Okay, so most likely again with Frank Carlson, yeah. And usually I'm trying to play b5 at some point here. Maybe already now. Because that's why I played rook c8. Now I always have, after cb5, cb5, the queen is attacked immediately. And also d5 usually doesn't work here. So I think c5 should be the main option for him. And then most likely I will play bishop c7. G4, and I don't think I want to open any files here, so I'll go H4. Yeah, so Rook G1 is trying to push G5 next move. That's why I'm going to go Queen D7 in order to have F5 of the G5. Yeah, we'll take bishop f4 and queen e5. I think it's important to not let him play bishop d6 and trap more or less trap the queen on d7. Just that there's no real squares to be active. And b3, and no, I need to be accurate not to get my queen trapped after bishop d6 and bishop e4, something like this. Yeah, queen e4 doesn't work because then there's bishop h7 check. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I did something wrong here. I don't like this position too much. But I think queen of three is right still. They're taking also the pawn in h3. I don't know when I really want to take it. Probably not yet, but I will see. Also depends on what he's going to do. Yeah, for example, taking now, and then there will be g5, f5. Actually, it's possible if I want to. I think I will take it. I don't see a refutation yet. Okay, bishop e4. Now I can also take on g4. But this feels like it could be getting too much. But now, okay, I will take it. Oh, okay, now I managed to get my queen trapped here. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I should do here. And there's no real way of getting out of this. Yeah, so now my position is lost, but <clears throat> okay, I will try to keep fighting. Yeah, it's just a piece for a queen. <clears throat> That's really, really tough to get anything here. Okay, it's still blitz, so some really small chance. Okay, so now at least I'm having a rook for the queen. Maybe a few pawns. Yeah, but I mean, this is like really, really, really bad. It's very tough to even find an idea of 
to not resign immediately. Yeah, he can just play c7. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Probably something connected to the clock might be the best chance. Also, that doesn't look too good. And it's also likely that I will lose until this gets important. Oh, okay, misclick. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Probably would have still lost, but with a misclick, that's yeah, not too good. Yeah, really bad game, but really poorly played. Yeah, okay, good game. Now, this was really bad play by me. I mean, after bishop before to take on g4, just plundering the queen, that's bad. Yeah. But yeah, I was already getting in danger there by playing this move. Should have played it safe right now. It's not that dramatic. Okay, so we have again this kind of structure here. Okay, knight d7. Bishop e7. Now I think I can go d4 and have a slightly better version than normal because usually the bishop was better placed on d6. Yeah, he already committed the bishop to e7. Yeah, now I'm going to try to attack like this. Okay, I think this structure is rather pleasant for me. Of course, I need to be accurate that he doesn't get a knight to e4. This would be a problem, but otherwise, it's pretty nice, I think. Okay, I need to check whether the tricks are already working. I mean, with knight d7, because often the queen d7, knight bishop takes h7 check. And I think this does work. Because king f8, bishop f5, again attack, and then I can take on d4 next move, or also queen h8, bishop h7 might already be winning. Yeah, person should be winning already. Okay, queen d6. Yeah, now I can go queen h8 check, knight g8, bishop h7, and then bishop f6. Yeah, it's not too clear, actually. So I will just go knight e2. Take the d4 pawn next move. He can't take on e3. Um, so okay, knight g8 back voluntarily. Yeah, it's a safe option, but should also just be really, really bad. I mean, I'm pawn up, have nice pieces, and the black has a weak king. So this means this position should pretty certainly be lost. Ah, okay, now bishop c8 and knight f5 would have won the game immediately. Okay, like this, it's also the one immediately because I will take on g7 and then he has to sacrifice the queen, and of course, this is not enough.
Yeah. Okay. Good game there. I think it was a nice attack. The tactics worked, so everything was fine there. Okay, so try to play more or less the same structure again. Okay, now c5, I will go b3 and try to play some Nimitz Indian with tempo up. Okay, he allows me to take like this. And then I yeah, will go c4, I think. Yeah, of course, this line with tempo up. Uh, for black, I mean, then it would be white exists, but I don't think it is. I mean, they're interesting, already played by many strong players, but in this case, maybe the tempo is pretty important. I will try to attack c5 as fast as possible here. Something like knight a4. Or maybe rook c1, threatening cd5. And yeah, it's important for me to block this kind of e5, e4 edges because then usually it's getting really dangerous. Okay, so I think rather the bishop belongs to d6, you really need to push this e5. It's really important here for black to get this. Otherwise, usually the position is not too good. Okay, rip c1. Also, queen on a5, I'm not quite sure, but what exactly it does there. I mean, defending pawn c5, but it wasn't yet attacked. And also, I think for black, the right strategy is rather to say that, you know, okay, on the queen side, I'm worse for sure, so I'm going to try to attack and get some counter play, because I don't believe that I can really defend my worst side here on the queen side. So, okay, rook d8. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put more pressure on c5, queen c2. d4. Yeah, okay, that's sacrificing a pawn. Um, yeah, it's possible. I also don't think it's that much of a problem for me. I don't feel like the attack is coming too quickly. I mean, c5 is interesting, yeah, and then. I think queen t3 is a good move. Because after queen c7, I have bishop e5. And if he takes, then okay, I will have an endgame with pawn up, which should be better for me. So yeah, queen c7, bishop e5. Now queen has to decide where to go. Yeah, queen c6. Now if d4 after cd4, knight d4 will be another tempo. Rook f1. Okay, queen on g4. I think I can kick it again. And now we'll, ah, okay. I think I might c6 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this looks strong. Yeah, and knight e7 is check luckily, otherwise it would be queen g2 mate, but like this, I'm gonna win the queen. Okay, good game. So, okay, let's see what kind of opening we'll get here. d4, knight f6, knight f3. Okay, d5, g3. Okay, so some kind of, so kind of one with delayed c4. And yeah, I'm gonna try to go with b5. It's always an idea here. Usually white tries to play something like a4, b4, c4. And then yeah, we'll take on c3. Okay, bishop, uh, knight bd2, I think bishop b7 is a good idea. Yeah, c4 now, okay. Yeah, bc3, you'll take, 
I think fast C5 is an option here. Bishop A3, I don't think there are any threats yet, so I can go Bishop E7. Yeah, rook b1. Now I can go both queen 7 and rook b8, but I feel like rook b8 is safer, so I will go for this. Queen c1, castles. c4, I will take. Yeah, probably it's more or less equal for now. Of course, I can think about playing c4. Um, yeah, actually, c4 looks interesting. I think I will play c4. And I'm hoping to get some kind of play against the pawn on a4. I mean, I already have the open b file. And White's idea should be somehow try to get e4 in. Okay, rook b4. I'll just go bishop c6. I and mean, if I get the b file, I'm really happy. Okay, a5, but I think now now we'll win a pawn and really important pawn. I mean, now this pawn on c4 is incredibly strong. And I'll take another pawn if I'm allowed to. Exchanging rooks is also good for me. I mean, I just need to exchange pieces now. I mean, two pawns up, that's enough. Just need to play it safe and uh, everything should be fine. Pushing the pawn now, trying to play something like queen b3. First push the a pawn. Okay, continue to push the a pawn. Okay, I'm still gonna push the a pawn. I mean, I'm playing this rather simple here. Now queen b2. Yeah, and I think already white will have to give up the piece and he relents. Okay, yeah, good game. I think that after rook b4, if I win this pawn, it's already lost. There's nothing much we can do from there on. So, okay, let's take another game. E4, C6, Carol Khan. Yeah, this is really modern line here. I think Queen E2 is the modern way to play here for white. I mean, of course, also, yeah, taking on F6 or Knight G3 are both <coughs> very well possible here. I mean, it's really typical structure here. Just, yeah, trying to develop all the pieces here. Of course, this pull on A5 might be pretty strong but i think i also got my piece to pretty nice squares so it's not too bad h4 i don't really understand i mean like something like rookie one would have been a normal move now allowed to play bishop g4 yeah i'm pretty sure that this is good for me G3. Okay, I can already sacrifice in many ways, but I think bishop g3 is the simplest. I mean, I can just take a pawn. f3, rook e3 looks already totally lost. There's also this very annoying pin there. 
pawn up controlling the e-file, weak king. This is should already be enough. So yeah, I'm sure there are many nice tactics here. Just need to find one. I can also just play queen f5, but um, yeah, something that knight h4 comes to mind. G h4, bishop f3, rook f3, queen g4, king f2, queen h4, king g2, and rook e1 maybe. But yeah, that's too far. I don't really need it. So I think I can simply play queen f5. Yeah, there's no real, really good way to defend against this. I mean, queen b3 is possible, but also should be lost. I mean, bishop f7, I think I have to take back. Ah, okay, and then there will be my g5 check. Um, okay, well, it's not serious, really big problem, I think. I mean, I can, for example, go to e7. Yeah, we'll just go to e7. And rook f5, bishop d1, rook d1, f g5, I'm p is up. So this is good for black. Yeah, queen b3, trying to attack. And now I need to be precise just to avoid all kind of problems. I think queen d7 might run into queen f7. I'm just going to be safe and play queen d5. And queen b7, bishop d7. That was the idea. Now there are, I mean, queen b4, I have c5. And otherwise, yes, peace up. Okay, rook e1, yeah, this is the best move. But I think of the king f8, I mean, I should certainly be able to get out of the checks and then we'll be winning. Yeah, I can just take the knight. Yeah, there are just no threats from the white side. I mean, the king is safe. Okay, good game. Yeah, I think this went pretty well. Maybe I allowed too much ideas, but I don't think it ever was bad for me there. I think it was more or less under control. So, okay, um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, for now, I'm going to play 3 0. So, this might head towards the King's Indian or a Grunfeld structure. Yeah, so we're the King's Indian. A5, okay. I think A5 is a rather unusual move here. I mean, okay, I have the bishop already. Oh, okay, c6, so certainly e5 is the idea to follow up. But I just believe that this e5, d5 structure is better for white because I already have the light squared bishop and the bishop on d7 is not too well placed, so I don't really have a problem with this structure. Rook b8, and there should be b5. I don't think this is too big of a problem, so I will allow it. And I will then 
most likely take, and then just something solid like queen d3. Okay, queen c7, just bishop g2 back, I mean, in case it can always be on the wrong spot in f3, I mean, always knight e5 is tempo, so it's useful little move. I don't think black has any real kind of edges, so I'm preparing for b4 at some point. Cd5, c5, I think, but now the queen of c7 is not on the right spot. I mean, this rook on c1 is making some trouble. Also, knight b5 is an immediate threat, taking the pawn on d6. Yeah, I'll go knight b5. This is really nice square. I mean, now black will wish he had the pawn back on a6. But yeah. It's not that easy to defend this pawn, even. I mean, bishop f8 is possible, but then after knight c7 already, rook e7 is all I move, which looks really ugly. But yeah, it's still playable. I mean, the set of the seven also is not doing much. It's not attacking something immediately. So yeah, bishop f8. I think I'm just going to play for domination with b4, not allowing knight c5, and then slowly getting to the queen side. It's yeah, just I have more space there. And that's usually the reason why white is much stronger on this side and will eventually win the fight, and most likely. Black usually tries to push something like f5 and attack on the king side and yeah, return, but I don't think this has any real chance of working in this position. It's also end games are certainly good for me. So I have no problem with exchanging the queens here. Knight a6. And yeah, maybe knight c5 is the idea. Can I d7? Yeah, also possible. Yeah, okay, bishop e6 wasn't the best move. I will just go back. And now. Okay, rook fd1. And I will go rook c7 is possible. Um. But yeah, then you can take and go rook c8. Also not that clear. I mean, you will even be able to take the pawn back on a5. But still should be better for white. I mean, just as not only five, it's really strong and the bishops. But yet, yeah, for now at least, it's rather solid for black. And that's something. But yeah, now you can already see that this not only five is not really having any kind of good squares. Yeah, okay, good game. I think here already also the position is lost or at least close to lost. Okay. So again, this, and this will head to a <clears throat> kind of English transposition. E5. Yeah, the structure is really solid for black. White is usually trying to put a knight on d5 if possible. Okay, this f5 is an idea. Always the question, yeah, f4, of course, is heavily weakening the square on e4, but also having attacking ideas with something like g5, g4, or knight f5. So this is already always double-edged. Okay. 
yeah, maybe. Yeah, now we'll go knight d5. The idea is that now knight d5 takes d5 doesn't work anymore because of cd5. And I don't think black wants to give away this bishop. So that's why you wait with knight d5 until black plays knight d6. Okay, he gives away the bishop, but I think I'm happy with that. I'm now gonna play a4, uh, yeah, preventing b5 and yeah, securing this spot on c4 for the knight. First knight b4 is gonna be played, and now e4. f4 and now I have to prove that the white squares are pretty strong here. So I'm gonna go rook d1 first. I mean, queen e7, there's knight b6, so I think this doesn't work yet. Yeah, so queen c7, and I'm going to go h4, probably having the idea of playing h5. Yeah, so his idea is to go rook f6 and rook af8, and then yeah, having threats of maybe f3 even. So it's a complicated position here, yeah, that's for sure. But I think I should be at least fine. F3 is interesting, but I think it should only be good if he manages to trap the queen, which I don't think he can. Okay, knight c2, the idea is certainly to get the knight to d4, which is a really good square for the knight. Um, okay, I'm gonna take on g6. And now queen d7. I'm trying to exchange queens. Now a5 is hanging. But yeah, rook a8 is, I don't know, not really the move you wanna play. So he's trying to attack with h5, h4. I should get out of the g file. I didn't have to because of the h4, there was still g4, but yeah, at least I don't think king h2 is a bad one. Okay, I will just take the a5 pawn. I mean, b7 is saying now as well. Yeah, knight will go back to c4, and yeah, of course, this knight on c4 is extremely strong piece. That's a problem for him. Of course, I would love to get rid of this f3 pawn, but I think now I can take the pawn on d6. But yeah, h4 can't really be that big of a problem for me. I mean, now I'll even take f3 as well, and then that's winning for sure. Yeah, already three pawns, I think, and that's way too much here. Okay, will be a fourth pawn and plus exchange. Yeah, okay, good game. I think there, yeah, ex after the queen exchange, it's already not easy for black, but of course, I mean, playing active was interesting, but maybe not the right way in this kind of position because, yeah, the material was just too much there. There were no real ideas. Okay, so you have a Karakan exchange. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get the bishop out as fast as possible. H3, bishop h5. Bishop g5, okay. Yeah, I think I can allow him to take on f6. Yeah, knight c6, and I'll just play bishop d6. And looks, seems like a solid position to me.
Bishop g6 will be next move, I think. Yeah, then we have really normal structure. I think healthy position for both sides. And there are no real weaknesses. Pieces are on the right places. I mean, more or less the structure comes from Karl's but also, I mean, looking from the white side, but there, of course, it's much better yeah, than what I've got here from the Karakan. I mean, bishop on g5 is out, bishop on d3 is out, and of course, also some tempi, so that's not really comparable, but I mean, the structure is the same, at least. I did really want to castle as long as he can take on f6, so I was trying to move that knight away. A4. Yeah, it's already some kind of prophylaxis against A6, B5 ideas. Knight F3. Okay, I'm gonna go H6. Knight Rook B8. And now, yeah, Knight A5, B5, Knight C4. I mean, those are typical ideas in this position. I don't think Knight H4 actually. Does something. I mean, that bishop on h7 is well placed as well, and the knight on h4 hasn't really got any better scores than going back. And now I'm gonna play knight a5. I mean, the set on c4 would be really nicely placed. I mean, b3 is always. A weakness, at least usually a weakness, so that's something I would like to provoke, and then I have no problem with going back. And otherwise, yeah, just b5, b4, minority attack against those pawns. Bishop d3. So, okay, well, those bishops are exchanged, and I think. I would like to exchange queens as well, and that game might be a little bit better for black. And yeah, he's also getting really low on time, so that's probably going to finish the game before the position can. But yeah, I know I have knight b3, I will take on d4, and then I have a really, really good version of a French structure. Yeah, I mean, dominating on the c file, this end game is really bad, probably lost. So since I'm seeing quite a few three plus two challenges, I'm just saying again that yeah, I will take three zero. So three two is not the time control. Okay, so again, I'm gonna wait a little bit and then take another game. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna another three again. Okay, I see most likely again, no game here. So, okay, hopefully now it will work. Okay, seems to be difficult today. Well, okay, then I'm going to try again. Ah, so now we go to game, English opening. And with g6, and yeah, now I think it's the right way for white to play with e3, d4. Trying to say that, you know, we don't control the square d5 yet, so I'm taking control over the center. And on this, cd4 and also d6 maybe now. Or knight f6. Okay, knight f6, I think I can go d5. I have black has to go back to b8. And I feel like that's pretty good position for white. I mean, I got lots of tempi here. Yeah, important to not let, ex uh, to not let black exchange pieces here. So I'll play h3 in order to prevent bishop g4. I mean, I have uh, advantage in space. So that's usually a sign that you shouldn't exchange pieces. Oh yeah, looking out for this b5 square. Next moves will be something like yeah, bishop e3 or bishop f4, and then maybe queen d2. Okay, knight a6. And yeah, this is probably trying to play a4 next move. But I don't think I need to react to this. Yeah, I think bishop h6 now there will be bishop h8. So maybe just rook b1, getting out of this more or less pin of the bishop on g7. And now I also have always b4 of the a4. I'm gonna try to play bishop h6 just to force the bishop back here. Yeah. And now bishop e2, forcing the knight to retreat. I think most likely to f6. And now I have bishop f3 with the idea of playing knight c6 next move. But actually, I can still wait with this. There's no hurry for me. So I'm going to try to improve my pieces as good as I can before playing like this. And now knight c6. Yeah, this looks pretty good for white here. I mean, this pawn six is really strong. C7 is already threatening. Also, black can't really move at all. So I think this position is really good for white. Knight e6, yeah, trying to control c7. Okay, I think I will just take on e6. It looks too nice to not be played. Uh, f e6 and now rook e1, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this wasn't the best move, but it was just looking really nice and tempting to play.
And I'm also sure that this position is not bad for white. And it's clear that I have enough composition. It was just probably most likely not the most clean way to play. Bishop g7. I think I can take on f6. I will anyway just try to play on the white squares. Take on e6. And yeah, this queen on b8 is totally out of the game. Bishop d5 will follow, and I think it's totally winning already. Yeah, I'll just go b4 in order to not let anything happen here. Just no counterplay. And now bishop d5. And then maybe I can even just slowly play h4, h5, or something like this. So, okay, good game. I think in this position, yeah, black has no, not really any kind of ideas. Maybe something like queen a8, queen a4, but still should be pretty bad. So I think it's all right to win this game. Also on time, the position was good anyway, I think. Yeah, so now again, we will have this kind of structure. So now King standing with Bishop G4 one more time. And yeah, I think what I've played in the last game went pretty well at least, so I'll repeat it. Yeah, B6 is of course not the move you want to play here, but yeah, I'm also not sure whether like has... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Not what you want to play now. I have knight e5 and immediately ideas like cd5 and bishop b5 coming. Queen d5. Yeah, I think I'm going to give the check. I mean, king has to go to e7 maybe. But yeah, of course, this can't be good for like c6. Yeah, I'm gonna go on knight c6, I think. I could also have taken on d5 first, but then there was ed5, knight c6, bishop d7, and at least it's just pawn up for white and nothing more. But here, this doesn't exist as an option, so maybe I can get even something better than that. I mean, now I'm getting a whole rook. And of course, yeah, the now the position's winning. Okay, that's another piece here. And yeah, I think now I'm going to start with the bullet games. So now challenges in 1 0. Okay, I don't. Yeah, maybe I will take one three zero still. I mean, if this is the pre rather preferred. So then the caro can now with yeah e five advanced. Okay, I'm gonna play h six. I know it's not the best line, but it's interesting.
And this is usually at the idea of threatening queen g3 check and now knight e2 and now we'll have knight b7 and e5 immediately and exactly like this the position is already pretty good for black. Yeah, that's what happens pretty often here. Okay, I think that giving away this bishop can't really be the right choice. I mean, this there are so many dark squared weaknesses now. I mean, after bishop c5, this king has no real square to go, so bishop e3 might be coming or rook e8. This doesn't look good for what yeah, I'm just gonna go bishop c5. And already many threats are coming. I mean as simple as just rook e8, and then already I will see what he's always trying to defend against this. I mean, now also this king can't castle anywhere. That's also a problem. So yeah, knight e2, and then maybe try to play with king d1. Might be the best option. It's not too bad, but of course, it looks like black is better in this position. Knight b3. I'll just go back to b6. Okay, knight d4. Maybe trying to castle along. But I have c5, c4 now as an idea. And yeah, interesting to see where this knight will go. I mean, for knight f5, I have c4 and then. Queen d2 or queen c2, and maybe even h5. Oh, okay, just could have played g6, maybe. Yeah, this would have been a good idea because knight g3 wasn't possible because of queen takes g3, and after f4, in the least case, I have queen e2 with, and then getting two pieces for the rook, which would certainly be really good. Yeah, queen. Okay, then I'm gonna go g6 now. Still possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now knight d4 is a move, but still, I'm gonna take and now I think give a check on g3 and take on f3. I mean, queen takes d4 also is possible, but I think, yeah, this might be even better. Okay, I think now I can already take on e2. King e2, queen g2, and then after king d1, I'm winning both rooks. Otherwise, I'm winning the queen or maybe even already mating. So this is totally winning for Blackie. So yeah, here, good game. I have to say that this line is a bit tricky for white. I mean, you have to know what they're doing. Otherwise, it can get bad pretty quick here. Okay, so now we're going to play some bullets. Again, advanced Karakana. With knight c3, okay. And a very sharp line here. I mean, here, this is, of course, there's an incredible amount of theory and complicated computer lines. But yeah, I think certainly black is fine in the end. It's just that hey, you should know what you're doing. Also, of course, instead of uh, sacrificing this pawn, there are many different moves. I think, uh, yeah, for example, CD4 or knight C6, many ideas. But of course, maybe this is not exactly the right opening to play in bullet for both sides. And this is incredibly complicated kind of position. A lot can go wrong. Okay, I will give Queen H to check. When I am allowing Knight C7. Okay. Now we'll get this piece and then okay, I'll take all pieces here. Oh, that's no, made. Next okay. So, yeah, this turned out well for me.
So, okay, let's see what kind of structure we'll get here. I mean, I'm usually, this is more as the same setup as usual. I'm gonna, yeah, try be trying to play here. Okay, I think you can go already for e4 after d5 e5 now. And yeah, now of course, this should be a good version for me. Okay, b6. Yeah, I mean, don't really know what to say here. It's hard for black to make a move. I mean, the position is already really bad. I mean, I'm controlling the center. No development for black. And also, yeah, now peace was singing. I mean, many problems. And I'm threatening to take on e6. Okay, knight c7, bishop c4. Okay, now it's mate. Oh, okay, he lost some time before, but yeah, it's mate next move. So, okay. Uh, maybe I can play another 3 0 if there are no 1 0 challenges. We'll see. I mean, I can understand that from some people, just 1 0 is too quick. And then, okay, I don't also don't need to play this time control. Okay, so this probably not here. So I'll we'll try to get another game. Okay, so now I have three. Okay, probably also not here for the moment. But okay, I'm gonna give him a bit more time and then... Okay, I'm gonna try to get another game. One more bullet here. Okay, he's playing rather quickly already. Okay, giving away the piece. B5 was still possible. I mean, he didn't actually run the just probably thought he run the piece there. Again, of course, now position is spinning, so I just need to yeah, be cautious with the clock. But yeah, it's also always the thing that usually if you have a winning position, it's also much easier to play fast moves. So that's another advantage there. And now will be second piece. And at least for more exchange as well. Okay, third piece. Yeah, I think now it's shouldn't be a problem to convert this also with little time. Okay, good game. Let's see.
it's okay and then yeah gonna take another three zero and that might be then the last game depending on how long it will take Yeah, so this structure seems pretty acceptable for white. I mean, so far, we've had it already quite a few times. I think also today, and went pretty good so far. So I think I can repeat it. Yeah, after e5, I will take on cd5, cd5, and knight b5. That's always the idea. And yeah, here it's the very classical approach just to play rook g1, g4, g5 attack. And I think this is considered to be really dangerous for black here. Yeah, I think this is the trap. Now we'll take on d5, b, d5, knight, d4, d4, and f, queen, c3, and the immediate move, and then, yeah, many problems arising for black. And f6 is more or less forced, and then I will take g, f6, knight, f6, bishop, c4, checking, and j, knight, g5, and usually just overwhelming attack there. Maybe knight e6 is coming, knight f7 threatening. Sometimes maybe rook g7 and then also on f6, win along this diagonal. Of course, yeah, I think it's just already lost. Yeah, knight g7, rook g7, queen f6, also pinning. I don't think there's any chance here. Yeah, that's why usually b6 is probably not the best move. I mean, this is those attacks are really dangerous and you really need to know really precisely what you're doing or it can be yeah, just more or less lost pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't think I need to take this exchange immediately. I'm just gonna try to put more pressure first. Okay, now it's the main next move. Okay, good game. Yeah, I think I will play one more. Let's see. Okay, one last bullet here. Okay, C5 start. Interesting. I think I can't be happy with that now. I don't. I didn't have to play with knight c3, which I think can be helpful, maybe. And now I need to focus on controlling these important squares, like on c5, and then it's a good position for me. Okay. Winning the pawn. And I think now maybe knight c2, knight d4, and yeah, f3. I don't want to give him this good square on a4. Okay, that's free knight. And that's a queen. So now I think I shouldn't have any problem winning this also, having only 20 seconds on the clock, but it should be made in the next few moves. Okay, good game. Yeah, I think that's it for today. So thank you for all the challenges and the games, and yeah, see you soon, maybe. Bye.